Hey guitar family and friends, how's it going? Uh, this is one of the most requested songs I've had in the past a few years, particularly on the Guitar Fam survey for 2023. So here it is, uh, Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. This is, uh, you'll see, I'll talk more about this during the lesson, but it's kind of a conglomeration of both guitar parts that incorporate the most important parts and kind of standardize the parts too. And just to make it easier and faster to learn for you, I figured uh, that would help you get into it and play it right away a little bit easier. Uh, if you haven't yet, go to guitarfam.com and create your complimentary account. Uh, you'll be able to access the first module of all of our premium courses. And you can also download the tab and jam track for this song on the Guitar Fam site. Let's get into it. Okay, one thing you need to know about this is I, I did go through and kind of standardize some of the passages um, that weren't really critical to the musicality or the feel of the song just to make it easier to memorize the song because it was very inconsistent all the way through which is cool but uh, this will cut down on your memorization so for example there's a measure in the chorus that goes uh, something like this uh, and he plays it different every time sometimes it's and then sometimes it's and then sometimes it's Something like that, right? So I just standardized those parts so it makes it a little bit easier to memorize. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, Timestamps will be below for the different parts of the song so you can come back to it and just learn it in chunks. Uh, so the intro, let me just play it for you real quick. Okay. We're in the key of A, and I use a bunch of little partial chord shapes just because it's easier on my hand, you know, burn fewer calories um, making these chords. It starts off with a hammer on from open low E to the second part of the low E. And that's your pickup bar, two sixteenth notes into uh, the next, the first full measure of the intro, which is an A chord. And I just, I just bar that with the open A because I'm not using the high E string. I don't have any reason to, to make uh, sure that's ringing out. So then the open A string, then the G string, then the B string with a hammer on and pull off from three back to two, and then back to the G string. And I use thumb, thumb, index finger, middle finger, back to, uh, sorry, middle finger, back to index finger for that last two on the G string. So. And if you need, if you're new to hammer-ons and pull-offs, you're probably just gonna wanna sit there and go to make them even in volume and just get used to the strength it takes to do that, right? Uh, the next chord is a G E over G sharp. And when I first uh, started learning the song, I had to go from this A to this E over G sharp a lot because um, it's quite a jump to memorize where that is. And all it is, is if you know a D over F sharp, it's the same chord, you know, a D, reach around, Grab the F sharp with your thumb, but instead of being here on the second fret with your thumb, your thumb is on the fourth fret. And that's how I really think about that E over G sharp. And I'm not using the high E string at all. So I'm still making that just easier for me because that chord just comes kind of naturally like that. But I pick the E, G, and B strings all at once pinch. Just my thumb on the next eighth note, and then just my fingers on the G and B. And then the next eighth note. So. And then I move down to an F sharp minor, but instead of playing a whole F sharp minor like this bar chord, what I do is I just grab the second fret of the G and B strings with my first and second fingers, and my thumb grabs the uh, second fret of the low E string with my thumb. Oh, with my thumb there. And normally I wouldn't play it an F sharp, normally I'll play an F sharp minor bar chord like this, but since I'm already playing this here, it ends up being a pretty easy change for me. But feel free to play the full chords here if you want. So I pinch that on the and of four, that first full measure, and then an eighth note rings out to the next measure, and then I play thumb fingers again for two eighth notes, and then another eighth note on my thumb. And then you move to an A over E, which is just the same chord I just let off of the F sharp here and play an E, an open E, 
and pinch those same notes, a low E, G, and B strings, and then the open E by itself, and the next eighth note, then just fingers, second fret of the G and B, and then just thumb for the next eighth note. So let me play all the way up, up to you for, to that point. Okay, and next you have a D over F sharp, so same chord shape you use for that uh, E over G sharp, it's just in the normal spot you'd expect to find it, uh, D over F sharp. Same pattern here, pinch with your thumb and fingers on the first eighth note of that measure, and then just thumb, and then just fingers, and that's on the same strings, I'm gonna go on the low E string with my thumb, G and B with my fingers, so pinch, thumb, fingers, thumb, let off of your um, thumb with, uh, then just hit a low E string, this gives us an E7 sus uh, four right there. And you just pinch all three of those at once, E, G, and B, and then thumb by itself, and then you come to an E7, and all I'm doing is still playing that low E by itself, when my index finger comes back to the first fret of that G string, and I end up pinching those three strings, E, G, and B, and then just my low E by itself. And then I end up back on an A to finish off the intro. And I pinch, I go to the A string with my thumb, and then stay on the same two strings, the G and B, pinch just the A by itself, just the fingers by themselves, just the A by itself, then pinch again, just the A by itself, just the strings by themselves, and fingers. And then to get you into the first verse, you have another hammer on, just like you started off on a, the and a of four, four E and a open E, hammer on to the second fret of uh, that E right there. So this one, um, it, it took, once you learn the intro, it's kind of the foundation for a lot of the rest of the song. And I did standardize this as much as I could whenever you come back to the re-intro. There are some different licks and stuff oh, you'll see when we get there. But once you get this, take this and learn this first. And this is the foundation for a lot of the, um, the core things of the rest of this song. So let me play that through one more time. Okay, let's start verse one now. Uh, put an A chord on. Again, I'm doing it like this. You don't have to. You can do full A if you want, but thumb, index finger on G, middle finger on B, back to the G string with your index finger. So, just straight eighth notes. And then you move to a G, or E over G sharp. Pinch those three strings. Just your thumb, and then you come down and like a little snare drum hit. And I just, you know, bring my fingers to the strings and get that uh, little snare drum sound. And I use that to go back to an F sharp minor on the and a four there. Same uh, chord shape here that I'm using as in the intro. Okay, so here you go. A, E over G sharp, snare, F sharp minor. Okay, and now here, if you want to do this lick here, you can, if you want to just keep it, uh, if you just wanna keep it on the F sharp minor, then switch to the A over E halfway through the next measure, just like the intro, that's fine. So you can go. But in the recording, um, oh, another thing I should say, this version is kind of my own version that consolidates the two guitars going on in the unplugged version into one thing that sounds really cool to play by yourself. So that's really my main goal. And doing this for you. Anyway, the lick that comes after this is this right here. And really it's just a, a major pentatonic lick. All I'm doing is taking a fret five on the high E and B strings, playing that, sliding up to seven, come back to five on both of those strings, play them again. And then I reach over and play five of the B string, four of the G string, play those and slide up two frets, index finger ends up on the sixth fret, middle finger ends up on the seventh fret, 
and then I come back to where I started, four on the G, five on the B, and I come back to two of the G and B with my index finger, and then back to five and four of the B in G strings. So really, really take this slowly and isolate this lick. I had to, and it took me a little bit longer than I'd like to admit, to get it to where I didn't have to um, panic when I was playing, you know, the, uh, the uh, regular finger style part and switch back and forth between them. So I'm gonna play it one more time for you and just take it super slow to get it done. Okay. And then we're gonna move to a D over F sharp and it just moves to kind of a solid rhythm. And that's the main rhythm, uh, if you can call it a main rhythm part that the song relies on. It's pinch, the E, G and B strings, the D over F sharp, then just thumb, then just fingers, and then just thumb. So, then move to an A over E. So just an, kind of like this uh, F sharp minor, I was doing only, I'm just, usually you can think about an A, but I'm getting set up here to play just an A over E, pinch, low E string, G and B strings then just thumb, and then here's an irregularity that I really liked and I kept in here. I added in the high E string on the next finger pinch with this third finger, and then back to just the root, or it would be the E in the bass, here the fifth of the A chord. And here's another little mini lick that pops up over and over again. It's over an E chord, so I'm thinking about this E chord, and I just pinch the G and B strings with my index finger. So the open B and then the G and then my open low E string, pinch again, thumb again, then I move up to the uh, second fret of the G and B strings with my second and third fingers, low root E again, and then third fret of the B string, fourth fret of the G string. Okay, so that little lick. Okay, so that first uh, four measures of the verse that's more or less standardized in this version that we're doing. Okay, and the next four measures are kind of the same. The rhythm is a little bit different. I retained what the parts that I thought were important. Uh, it starts off kind of the same way. That's the same, and then this is the same that you have a G sharp, but the rhythm here is different. You hold it for a quarter note, and on four you mute, and then hit the F sharp minor on the and of four. And you'll hear this, you, the feel, this is kind of an important feel for the song. And then either you can choose to keep it going on that F sharp minor, then the A over E, just like you did in the intro, or you can add in the second little kind of uh, rootsy lick that he does that recur recur recurs a lot throughout uh, the song. It's in uh, just about every verse, both of these licks, this one, and then this one. And all the lick is, is um, on, Beat two, you go second fret of the G string, second fret of the high E with your second and third fingers. Play that, and I use pinch with my thumb and middle finger. And then I move, and they're kind of a staccato. So you cut them off as soon as you hit them. Then I move up to four with these same fingers. Do it again, staccato. Hit it again, but this time it's. And this is one part that really helped me get this up. As soon as I moved up to four, my index finger came down because of what's coming next in the lick. I slide up from four to five on the high E string with my index finger and six on the G string with my middle finger. If I don't do that, if I don't put my index finger down, there's a, there can be a big gap. If I, if I do put my index finger down right here, it's much easier to make that seamless when you slide up. Two, six on the G string and five on the high E string there. And then once you hit the slide up there, go back down to four with two and three. Then on the same G and high E strings, then back to two. Same finger, same strings. And then one 
on the G string and open high E string. So this is another uh, lick that I had to really isolate just so it didn't throw me off switching from the main rhythm part in this. Okay, so really slow that down here and play that. Okay, and then from there you go to a D over F sharp, same basic rhythm pattern, pinch, thumb, fingers, thumb, and uh, let's see, then it goes to an A over E. Uh, there's a little bit of a difference here. I'm still doing just my two fingers here on the G and B strings um, on the second fret. I'm only just grabbing the G string for, for the first pinch. And then the low E string, then both strings, G and B, then just the bass. And then you have your E lick again. Okay, so that's the whole verse. And that's the template for the verse. There's some differences in the actual recording, a lot of differences in the recording, but from verse one, two, and um, how many verses are here? Here, Three verses uh, I tried to standardize them. There are some little differences. And we'll get to them as we go through it, but let me play that whole verse for you. Okay, from there, go to the chorus, and we go to an F-sharp minor, same fingering, thumb on the bottom. Doesn't matter if you want to do it like this, that's totally cool. Uh, pinch, the low E, B, and uh, G strings again, same uh, basic rhythm pattern. Pinch, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. And on the last eighth note on the end of four, I have an open E that leads you into a C-sharp over E-sharp. And all it is the D over F sharp, move down. You can think of it, just move down one fret. So pinch again. So pinch, uh, thumb, index middle on the low E, same strings, low E, G, and B. Pinch, thumb, just fingers. Pinch again. And here the rhythm is a little bit different. It goes fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb. So just slow that down until you get in. That's the rhythm for that measure. And if you want to standardize it more, you know, just... That's fine. However close you want to get it to the original, that's up to you. Uh, from there, so if you have a F sharp minor. From there, I take everything off except for my uh, third finger that's on the second fret of the B string. And that, if I pinch the low E, G and B strings, that gives me a C sharp diminished over E. And then I put my pinky down on the high E string on the third fret. And the rhythm for that is just pinch, thumb, fingers, thumb, and then I use all three fingers on top to include that high E string. And then just my two fingers on the G and B string. So that measures a little bit different. And then um, you have a rest, or you mute the strings on the end of four there. And so that first line of the chorus will be one, two, three, four. From there, I go to an F sharp uh, seven, dominant seven. And normally I play an F sharp dominant seven like that, right? But this time, uh, just because of the way the song because of what's coming after that, I end up playing it like this. Thumb on the F sharp, index finger on the second fret of the D string, third finger on the third fret of the G string, and my middle finger gets the second fret of the B string. And this is one of the licks that I standardize just because I like this version of it. And if you don't, if it's not different every time, it's not as hard to memorize. So I go pinch the low E, D, and G strings for a quarter note, and then I throw in my third finger, pinch again, so pinch the low E, uh, D, G, and B strings, another quarter note, then the open B, lift your middle finger up, and then 
put it back down for the second fret. So all quarter notes. Okay. From there, move to just a normal B minor seven. And you can just use uh, the three fingers again. We're going to a, a, the A string and pinch uh, with your index finger and middle finger on the G and B strings. Then just thumb, then fingers, and thumb, and then pinch again, thumb, fingers, and on the and of four, you hit an open E. So you end up with this. And then I mute and a little bit to cut it short, and then I uh, keep the same shape on there, but I hit a low E string instead of the A string, and that gives me an E7 sus4. And I hit play just the low E, G, and B strings. Cut the first one short, let the next one go out, pinch, then just the low E, and then pinch again on four, mute, and then back to the, to get you back into the intro. It's the low E, hammer on to the second fret with your index finger for those two sixteenth notes. So the whole course will be this. Okay, and then it goes back to the intro, which is uh, pretty much the exact same as the intro that we went over at the very first of the song, but I it throws in the, that first little lick here, so. Right here. And then. And right here is uh, where another lick changes. This is a, the, the last really um, kind of tough lick. Uh, of the song and all you're doing is you on that measure the last measure of the intro with an a thumb oh sorry pinch thumb fingers then you leave your a this is a really good reason to bar these notes for the a what i end up doing is playing this note on the d string on the second fret that's already fretted hammer on to the fourth fret and then the same thing on the g string it's already fretted on the second fret and then hammer on to the fourth fret same thing for the B string, second fret's already fretted, so. So I just hammer on to the third fret, and then come back to the second fret, and then come back to the fourth fret of the G string, pull up to the second fret, and then go to the fourth fret of the D string. That's the whole lick, so. And for this right hand, it's, it's really, my figuring for that's really kind of arbitrary. So I go thumb, index, and the middle finger, back to my index finger, back to my thumb. Okay. So let me play that re-intro for you. Okay, and that takes a lot of uh, strength, this index finger, to keep that down while doing those hammer on, so isolate that on its own. All right, uh, this leads us to verse two, which is, has some subtle differences in it. I took some of them out, but some of them are still there because I thought they were important enough to retain, you know, what was going on with the feel of the song. So it starts off the same, and then goes to the uh, E over G sharp. This time, it's just the G string, and then mutes the strings again and goes to the F sharp. And then we have our... And then we start the same uh, D over F sharp. And then almost the same. I leave the high E string out this time. Just to, it, it, it makes it a little more subtle. Instead of, I just go. And then for our E chord, we have the exact same layer. So that first line of verse two. Okay. And then the second line of uh, verse two is a little bit different yet again. We go pinch, 
uh, the A and B strings with your A chord. And then we have a little trill, 2-3-2 two, two on the B string. And your uh, index finger is already holding down the second fret, so all you have to do is hammer on to 3 with your middle finger there, so. And then 2, second fret of the G, um, G string there. And then we go to an E or G sharp for a quarter note. And then quickly come back to an F sharp uh, minor. Just the B string, my middle finger, and then pinch the chord E, G, and B strings. And then we have our uh, next look again. And from here, it's uh, very similar. Then to an A. Exact same, right, as the first verse. So not all, I mean, you can play the verses exactly the same, that's fine. Uh, you can uh, look at the subtleties that I have here that I've left in, or you can like go all the way to what's written. And if you uh, want a score that's ultra detailed, just like the recording, just go uh, to guitarpro.com and get the one from Guitar Pro. There's this uh, super accurate. This one's a more kind of a conglomeration of the two parts. Anyway, let me play verse two for you. Okay, this leads us into chorus two, which is almost the same. The rhythm is a little bit different because it's so different on the recording that I figured it was worth mentioning here, but you go to an F sharp minor. It's uh, instead of being like this, it, the rhythm's a little bit different. So you go pinch, thumb for a whole quarter note, and then you resume the thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, and then open E. So the first measure is one, two, three, four, And then same rhythm in the next uh, bar with this C sharp over E sharp. Then the C sharp diminished over E. Uh, I believe this is yeah, it's the same as the first time you did it. And that's one of the irregularities that I smoothed out because it's not the same in the recording, but I'm just using the same here. Uh, and then you go to an F sharp seven, and I do the same rhythm here. minor seven and I use the same almost the same rhythm here it's a little bit different I just do straight alternating because I think it's something recorded and then on the and of four you go to the open E then on the and of one the next measure you have an E seven sus four pinched and I choked and then do it again don't choke it then just thumb then hit it again with a quarter note and then Read it on four, and then you go back into like this. All right, so let me play that whole second chorus for you. One, two, three, four. Okay, then you're into the next intro of the song which is exactly like the last one that we did except uh the last measure you don't have the uh, that uh, lick over the a chord because you're gearing up to go into the bridge let me just play it for you go you go to an a here with the standard rhythm so pinch thumb fingers thumb pinch thumb fingers and on the four e and uh, on the and of uh, four you have a hammer on from the open a to the second fret of the a and that gets you into the bridge so let me play uh, that little reintro for you And this sets you up to come down on a C chord for the bridge. So just a normal C, eighth, thumb on the A string, another eighth on uh, the open G string, the index finger, and then a quarter note on the B string with your middle finger. So, 
Then you go to G over B, and middle finger is uh, on the A string there, second fret, and my pinky gets the third fret of the high E string. And I play A string with my thumb, G string with my index finger, and then my third finger grabs the high E string. And then I'm back to the A string, but it's open on the end of four. So one and two and three and four and, and for the next measure, move to an A minor chord. And that's the rhythm one and two and, and I'm not like uh, playing the D string with my thumb, then two fingers on G and B on the end of one, and then the G, just the G string by itself. So, and then on two, you move to a D over F sharp and pinch it uh, with just the low E, G and B string, then thumb on the root, and then just fingers, and then go to the third fret of the low E string because you're anticipating this G chord that's coming out. So those first two measures of the bridge will be just this one, two, three, and four. And. and then when you get to the next measure on the one, hit your G, I'm just doing uh, third fret of the low E and then uh, third fret of the B string. That's all I'm getting with these uh, two fingers, three and four. And I just pinch those, low E, G and B. Then my root note by itself with my thumb, then fingers by themselves, then back to thumb by itself. And I go to hit that same, so the rhythm is pinch, thumb, fingers, thumb. Then I go to a D over F sharp, do that exact same thing. Then I go to an E minor seven, which is just my th third finger on the B string. Uh, on the third fret and do the exact same rhythm, same strings. I go back to a D over F sharp, almost the same thing here. I just go pinch, thumb, and then we anticipate the G for quarter note on beat four. And that leads you into the second uh, phrase of the bridge. So let me play that whole first half of the bridge for you. This was uh, a little bit irregular, so it took me a while to get this down too. So. Then this next uh, phrase of the bridge it starts off the same way C, G over B. Exact same thing as that first measure of the bridge. And then you have an A minor, but the it's a little bit different here. So open A, B string, uh, G string with your index finger. And that's just eighth, eighth quarter. And then you have a D over F sharp, pinch. Then just the root note, the, sorry, the F sharp the bass note, and then fingers. Then bass note changes to a G again, third fret, in anticipation of that G chord coming up on the end of four. And then on the, the one of the next measure, you have a quarter note, root note, over there with your thumb, then pinch again. Just the G and B strings. I, I think it's actually, yeah, that's what I'm doing right there. A third fret of the high, uh, the B string, and then the open G string. One root. Then the next beat you go D over F sharp and that's a like a dotted quarter note or a quarter note tied to an eighth note and then you anticipate the E coming in the next measure with an open E and then you have your kind of the same lick we had earlier before in all of these uh, at the end of each uh, verse. It's a little bit different here because you end up with a quarter note on one and then eighth note fingers. So the rhythm's a little bit different there, but it's uh, pretty much the same idea as far as over that E chord. Let me play the whole bridge for you. So one, two, three, four.
Okay, and that gets us right back into um, the guitar solo, which is uh, very, it's similar to the verses. Uh, some of the rhythm is different. Uh, some of the strings he chooses to pluck are a little bit different, so we'll go through that real quick. Starts off on an A. So the rhythm changes here a little bit, so just the A and the B strings, pinch, then the G string by itself, and then the B string by itself for quarter note. So one and two, and then on three, mute. Uh, this is a really something that's really important for the feel of the song. So, and then on the and of three, you have this E over G sharp, then mute it, and then back to an F sharp minor. So that's kind of important feel for the song. Then just go fingers on the on, on two, go fingers, thumb, then go to an A over E, pinch, thumb, fingers, thumb. So that whole little. They go to a D over F sharp, pinch, just thumb, just fingers, and then the open high E string. So. And then go to an A over E, pinch, low E string, and then you have a trill here. So just second fret that you're already fretting of the B string. Hammer on with your second finger on the third fret, pull off, and then come to the second fret that you're already holding down on the G string. So okay, and then you have your standard, your standard E. So let me play this first uh, phrase of the guitar solo. And one thing that was really important for me to get this phrase down and the next one was when I go from this D over F sharp, I go to that A, I collapse down with just my bar. It's really important to get that neck, that little like that trill in there, and it's even more important for the next time through. So the next phrase is similar, but there, again, the rhythm is a little bit different. You can start on an A, and go just A string, D string, B string, G string, and it's just straight eighth notes there. And then E over G sharp, pinch. And then on four, pinch it again. And then on the and of four, you have to move down quick to an F sharp minor and hold that out through the first half of beat one, and then start off on, you know, and with a thumb, then fingers, thumb, and then go A over E, pinch, thumb, fingers, thumb. Go back to D over F sharp, just like you did uh, the first in the first phrase, pinch, thumb, fingers, high E string, then A over E again, but this time, if you do it with the, these two fingers, you're gonna be in trouble, so I have to go back with a bar because there's a uh, second fret of the D string that I need to have fretted. And then your same little trill thing here and end it with the standard E like. So that second phrase is So it's similar, but it's even more important for me to go uh, that A with a bar. All right, so here's the whole guitar solo part for you. One, two, three, four. Right, now we go back to the chorus, which kind of uh, irons out and um, kind of normalizes itself. So F sharp minor, same thing as before. And F sharp seven, B minor seven, normal, just like the first time. And then an E 
seven sus four. Uh, and then you have your little um, pickup back into the reandro. Lick. And then you have your lick that was introduced uh, on the first reandro. So nothing new there. Okay, verse three, uh, it's kind of the same. Some of the rhythm uh, changes a little bit here. So the, the basic structure is the same, but it starts off on just your A chord. So pinch, thumb and middle fingers, then G, B, G. Then you mute, you have this kind of accent thing again, and go to your E over G sharp. Mute again on the and of four, hit your F sharp minor. And then you have, your licks are flipped this time. So the first time you do, okay. Then you go D over F sharp. So pinch, thumb, fingers, thumb. A over E, pinch, thumb, fingers, thumb. Then your standard E lick. Okay. Then you go back to your A and go pinch uh, A and B strings. And then just go B, G, B, G, straight eighth notes. And then you go to your uh, E over G sharp. Do it again and uh, cut it short on four and then on the and of four, F sharp minor. And then again, your legs are flipped here. So the D over F sharp. Then your standard E lick. Someone play verse three for you. All right, then you have the last course, which is very similar to the previous course. It's just uh, F sharp minor. On the end of four, hit the open E to transition into the C sharp over E sharp. Then C sharp diminished over E. It gets a little more sparse with the rhythm here. It just goes one and two and three and four. And so you have a, whole, a half note the last two beats just to kind of mellow it out for the end of the song so pinch thumb fingers thumb thumb and four and same thing here on the f sharp seven it kind of mellows out on the rhythm too so just pinch the low e d and g strings for a quarter note and then add your third finger in for another pinch and then just let it chill for the rest of the measure so on beats two three and four just that and go to B minor seven, and go pinch, thumb, fingers, thumb, pinch, thumb, fingers, open E. And on the and of one, pinch, uh, choked, and then pinch again, and just thumb. And then on beat three, pinch, and then mute on beat four. Okay, so let me play that course for you. This one is a little bit different, it's a little more sparse. Uh, so you can play it like the other courses, or you can go exactly for what's written here. Go one, two, three, four. Okay, and uh, that leads us to the outro. Very much the same as the other things, a little bit of a rhythmic differences here, just to kind of differentiate it and kind of bring it down for the end of the song. So it starts off the same, but we don't have our pickup, like the, the little We don't do that this time, just because it's a little bit different because it's the last time we're doing it. So we just start on one. Then we go E over G sharp. And on four, hit it, pluck it again, pinch, and then right to F sharp minor on the end of four. And then on the, it picks up the rhythm in the next on the end of one, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, and then let off with your thumb to go to an A over E, thumb, fingers, thumb. Then go back to a B minor seven, pinch, 
thumb, fingers, thumb, pinch, thumb, fingers, low E string. And then just the top two. Twice, thumb, fingers. And then you get back to the. So let me play those first four measures of the outro for you. Some uh, different things here that are subtle, but I think they're important for the song. One, two, three, four. And then from there you go and back into your lick. Then E over G sharp. Again, cut it short, F sharp minor. And then you have your lick again. And from there you go to D over F sharp. Pinch, thumb, fingers, thumb. And then I'll just pinch your E7, sus4. So and then pinch your E7. And then you have this lick at the end. Uh, it's pretty fast uh, and it's kind of free time, so don't feel like you have to have it on a certain, you know, precise as far as the rhythm goes. But I just bar an A, normal open A chord, and I roll up A, D, G, B, and then I pick again the third fret with my uh, middle finger, put it down, and then I pick again the second fret. And then a quick trill, or just hammer on pull off from three to two. So. Then four, fourth fret of the G string, second fret of the G string. And the whole time I'm playing this lick until the very end, my index finger is uh, down on that second fret, making that A string, uh, that A chord. So. Until I go to the fourth fret again on the G string and I slide up to the sixth fret. You'll see a six with a slash in front of it. That's just saying slide into the sixth fret with your third finger. And then my middle finger comes and grabs the fifth fret of the B string twice. And the rhythm here is a little bit different. My best recommendation for you is just, just listen to what he's doing. Try to mimic it because it's a uh, five sixteenth notes, then uh, three sixteenth note triplets, then a sixteenth note, and then three eighth note triplets, and then the last one. And put some vibrato on it. So, so let me play that whole outro for you. One, two, three, four. Okay, now for the solo. I uh, start off on fret nine, and you rest on a beat one, one, Doo -doo -doo -doo. and listen, listen to the solo a lot, and you'll get the rhythm down a beat. So it's a triplet, sixteenth note triplet, on beat two, and you choke that last note. So you go nine, ten, nine, and you go pick, pull, hammer on, pull off, and then come over to ten on the B string. And then you have an eighth rest, and you'll hear this rhythm line up with what the rhythm a guitar is doing too, and you go from 12 to 14 slide up with your third finger and then back to 12 with a choked note, eighth note, on with your index finger on 12 of the high string and then 14 on the B string, let that ring out. So that first little phrase is one and from there you have a little double stop lick where you go okay so you start off and slide into 11 and 10 on the G and high E string from a fret below and then hit 10 again and then you move shift back here to the ninth fret of the G high E strings with your second and third fingers play those and slide back to seven and then shift back to six on the G string and five on the high E string and I'm using my thumb and middle finger for all these notes in the double stop like and then go back up to seven with on the G and high E strings with two and three. Hit the seven and slide up to nine. And then come back to seven and hit that twice. So this one's a little bit tricky. You have to have your interval shapes down pretty good. Just working that slowly. Okay, 
Yeah. The only thing that changes for the next lick, actually, let me play the whole first thing for you. The only changes thing that changes the next time you play it is really the rhythm. The frets uh, stay the same. So first time through, first half, one. The next time through the rhythm just changes to fit what the rhythm guitar is doing. Uh, it starts off the same one. It just goes right into that. Right away, there's no rest in there. So one. So one. Two, three, four, one. And the double stop, like uh, the second time you do it, is a little bit different. You slide into just 11. Instead of pinching uh, the high end G in the high end G strings and once it's just the G string, so I'll slide into eleven and then ten on the high E string, and then nine on the both strings, slide back to seven, six and five of the G and B string, oh the high E strings, and then seven of both, slide up back to seven twice. So the second time to the solo is uh, with a little rhythmic difference is this one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay. And the whole thing, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. All right, if you have any questions about this or if you want to send us a video for review, go ahead and do that. Support at guitarfam.com. We'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't yet, go to guitarfam.com. If you want to support the channel and the website, become a monthly or an annual member. You can access all of our premium courses for just around 10 bucks a month. It's 997 a month. And then, uh, 100 bucks a year, 97 bucks a year. We really appreciate the support and we'd love to help you reach your musical goals. Let us know what other songs you'd like to learn in the comments below. We'll see you later. Thank you.
peace, I'm sure. And I know there'll be no more tears in heaven. Would you know my name? Don't